Hello, my name is Donna Stanfield. I am the Director of Curriculum Instruction and Assessment here at Bucyrus City Schools. And today I'd like to share something with you that our teachers are experiencing or will experience next year. And that is a new teacher evaluation system that is mandated by Ohio Department of Education. In 2005, the State Board of Education adopted new standards for the teaching profession. That included new standards for teachers, principals, and for professional development to, provo to promote effective leadership practices and to provide support for these uh, individuals. During this new Ohio teacher evaluation system, uh, the Department of Education adopted this in 2008 and it was done to make sure that we could determine the teacher effectiveness for the purpose of rewarding excellence in our teachers, improving the quality of instruction in our classrooms, improving student learning, strengthening professional growth in the knowledge and skills and practice of their profession, and identifying and correcting some deficiencies. What we do know about effective teachers is teachers do make a difference. The ultimate goal of all of these new evaluations is to improve the teaching and learning in our classrooms. This evaluation system is combined of two parts, a teacher performance part and a student growth part. Each of these parts account for 50% of a teacher's evaluation. Let me talk about just the first one, the teacher performance part. This is the part where an administrator would look at the learning environment within the classroom. Is it safe? Is it conducive to learning? The second is the content knowledge. Does the teacher understand the content that they are teaching? Then another item is looking at the assessments. Does this teacher collaborate or communicate well with colleagues and administrators? Another component is looking at the instruction within the classroom, at the multiple different strategies the teacher uses to address the needs of all levels of learners, and also the professional responsibility and the growth of the teacher. Do they seek outside uh, professional development? Do they increase their knowledge of their content in their area of teaching? This is typically what teachers have been evaluated on in the past. Now the second part, student growth measures, is brand new. This means the teachers will be evaluated on how well the students perform in their classrooms. They will use, the administrators will use multiple data points and to show how well the students are growing or progressing with their academic success. And this is determined by both state and local assessments. The second part of a, a student growth measure is we want to see that all of our students in our classrooms are growing one full academic year. So these two parts comprise our new evaluation system that will begin next year at Bucyrus City Schools. So I'd like to conclude by saying as we embrace this new teacher evaluation system, we are reminded of James Strong's quote, the one clear abiding hallmark of effective teaching is student learning. I thank you for turning, tuning in and if you'd like any additional information or questions concerning our new teacher evaluation system, please feel free to contact me here at Central Office at 419-562-4045 and thank you.